The reckoning continues for Senator Josh Hawley. He was exposed in those primetime hearings for first cheering the Trump fans the morning of the insurrection, you see here, before they stormed the Capitol, and then running from them as soon as the heat was on. The committee showed him, quite specifically, sprinting away. Holly also did more than any member of Congress to tangibly advance the plot to overthrow the results on the Senate floor. He was the first senator to break with McConnell to join that challenge, which did change everything, as we've been reporting. Then he was scurrying, fearing the very apparently scary people that he had claimed to support and cheer. Instead, Holly ran over now to a conservative conference using, well, take a listen. I just want to say to all of those liberals out there, I do not regret it, and I am not backing down. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to cower. I'm not going to run from you. Whether he is just going full trolling or not, he is certainly running, running, running away, as the classic Far Side song put it and running away from his own actions. But this goes beyond what we were talking about earlier in the program, memes and ridicule. Two of the biggest newspapers in Missouri are not just criticizing him or calling out that kind of rhetoric. They're saying he should be out. Kansas City Star says he is a fleeing coward and now a laughingstock. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch writes that the entire sprint shows his, quote, core cowardice, and he should resign. That is beyond bad press. That is a full-blown political scandal. And as mentioned, for many, Hawley fleeing does bring to mind that far side classic running, where Fatlip explains, quote, I must admit on some occasions I went out like a chump or something to that effect, respect I used to never get. And the chorus, can't keep running away, can't keep running away. The difference here is that while everyone can see Hawley running, he continues to deny running or cowering. One more twist on a story of endless hypocrisy. We now turn to a friend here on the beat, the comedian, Daily Show co-creator, and noted Farside fan, Liz Winstead. Nice. nice to see you. Nice to see you. Your <laughs> thoughts on something that would be a joke if it weren't so serious. Well... I do have to say it was hilarious because no one has said it's hilarious yet. So I'm going to throw the pun in there. Just we'll take a pun. We take puns out. around here. You know, I'm a big pun. I have no pun shame. I'm I'm into it. You know, the look, thing I will say, Josh Liz, briefly. I, I didn't know you were going to start the interview by joshing around, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, um, I, I, that's me. That's me. You knew. You brought me on. You knew. So, you know, he, I look at Josh Hawley's entire career, and, you know, as somebody who's also an abortion rights advocate, um, I followed him for a long time in Missouri, right? And, you know, when he was AG in Missouri, his staff purged because it was such a disorganized mess. He, he was, you know, wrote a brief in the Hobby Lobby case against, you know, employees getting birth control coverage. He's one of those classic people, I feel like, that is going to be so awful so that he can hate you first, so that he doesn't have to deal with people not liking him because he's incapable of being likable. I mean, that clip from 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 that Turning Point conference and he had his Anderson Cooper black t-shirt on trying to look all hard ass, it was like, oh dude, what's happening? You know, the fact that anybody bought a fist bump in the first place from a guy in a red tie, you know, just like in his suit, it's like, oh my goodness, you and your dockers and your suit and your solidarity. Uh, you know, it's sort of like if the insurrectionists were the worst theme park in the world, which I feel like they created like a racist white supremacist theme park, Josh Holly could be their mascot. 